We're only hours away from filming. If we don't do this interview now, we'll never get him back. He's called it off, Emily. Fuck! OK, boys, let's go. Morning, morning. Sorry I'm late. Were you showing this picture of Prince Andrew and Epstein? No, the story right now is Epstein's death. So now they're all going to go after Ghislaine Maxwell, and once they've gone after her, they're going to go after Prince Andrew. Get me and him in a room together, and then I can do my thing. Emily Maitlis, BBC. I've been warned about you. You have a bit of a reputation. Well, for you, I'll try and behave. I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> We're sure this is right. A woman journalist. The optics say she has to be female. What's my strategy? It's two targets. Why did he stay at a convicted paedophile's house? And did he have sex with Geoffrey when she was underage? Well, she's cocky. You can handle her. You treat him like any other man facing allegations of sexual assault. People forget I've been to war. I'm going to blow this out the water. Do you regret any of your behavior or your friendship with Epstein? Uh, now? Still not. The Queen is in shock. The bottom line is to ensure that this scandal never touches the crown. Tell us, Emily, how does it feel to take down a member of the monarchy? I was only ever hoping to ask the right questions. I was trying not to sound guilty. Geoffrey's team are preparing proceedings against you. I'm fighting for my life here. Whether Prince Andrew's guilty or not, it was the entitlement. He just couldn't help himself. You do believe me, don't you?